Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, a couple of days ago we talked about the Windows Security app and of course I was mentioning that this is enough for everybody for protection you know their comments all the time about well you know I don't agree da, 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 da. Eh, you are entitled to not agree if you want but uh, the uh, every time somebody tells me well I don't agree this one is better you're missing the point you don't understand that security has nothing to do with the antivirus and that it's what you do. One question also that came to mind says, well, people don't know anything. How can they protect themselves? Well, people know enough not to do things they shouldn't do. So for the most part, people, if they don't click whatever they see all the time, uh, pretty much protect themselves. As a tech guy, um, the majority of people know how to stay safe. And every time there was a virus or something happened, the person that I had to actually fix the computer or clean the computer from the virus or the malware knew she was taking a chance because she knew something looked weird. So that shows you that people actually know. They have a hunch that something is not right. In this video, I want to just show you guys, because I got a couple of questions of people saying, how do I know if my Windows security is working and is all right? Well, this is part of the way that it actually presents itself. So usually, if your Windows security app is all right, you should have a little shield on the bottom right of your taskbar with a green check mark. So maybe you don't see it. Remember that it could be hidden behind this little up arrow. This little arrow here is uh, icons that can be hidden from the taskbar. And sometimes the antivirus is there. So if you click the up arrow, uh, if you don't see it on the taskbar, it might be in the hidden icons there with the up arrow. And if you want it to actually be on your taskbar, all you have to do is click on it and drag it to the taskbar. That will actually put it visible and will always be visible starting from there. So that's one indication that it works. A uh, little shield, a little green check mark on the bottom right. If you double click on it, you should also see it like this. Now, what if you don't see it in your taskbar? Is there a way to still know where it is? But well, you can go and search for it. So you click the search and you type Windows Security. And you will see that there's Windows Security app. And you can click on it to actually have it open. And it will bring you to this panel. What you want to see is a panel like this with all green check marks. That means your PC is all right. But the, there are check marks that are more important than others. The ones that you should actually make sure that they are all right is virus and threat protection. This needs to be green check mark. Firewall and network protection, green check mark. These are two that are very important. Then, of course, ac account protection, app and browser control, and device and security should all be technically with a green check mark. Where you might not have a green check mark, even in the taskbar, it, depending on the version of Windows 10 you have and the version of Windows Security, device health, uh, device performance and health might sometimes put a yellow uh, check mark or tell you something is wrong. Now it's very important to understand that device performance and health, and this is always something that I complain about regular antiviruses. This is something that I never enjoyed having within an antivirus. When the antivirus not only checks for viruses and malware and security, but also wants to tell you if your PC is all right in its performance, well, that's where the problems are because people have difficulty knowing what is a real problem with the antivirus that might be security and a problem that is just, you know, a little something that this software can do. There's an improvement in the May 2020 update. They have actually kind of dumbed down or kind of silenced the device performance and health so it doesn't actually go crazy on you as it used to because 
I mean, the first time they introduced this, I had a yellow check mark all the time because my, um, you know, screen brightness was too high or this or that. And it's like, yeah, I don't care. I know it is because I, I want it like that. And that's the thing with device performance and health. So what's important is virus threat protection, account protection, firewall and network, app browser control, and device security. The rest, if this device performance and health has an issue, it doesn't matter. That is not related to security. It's something else. And we'll talk about that something else in a separate video. So, you know, don't go crazy over here. What's nice also with device performance and health, if, if something's there that's not right, now you can actually mute this problem. So if you see a health problem or a performance problem, just tell it to, you know, stop telling you about it. It doesn't matter. And we'll explain more about this because um, you, of course, will try to have to, you understand a little more what it's all about. So just make sure that virus and threat protection, account protection, firewall and network, app browser control and device security are the ones that are green. If that is the case, it's all right. You don't have to go crazy. So that is the important thing. Um, the other thing here is when you click virus and threat protection, you should see that virus and threat protection updates should be usually pretty much always the day that you're using your PC or at the latest the day before, but it needs to be quite close. You need to have in the last 24 hours a update, a protection update. If that is in the last 24 hours, you had an update here, you're fine. Usually there's a couple of, of, of a few updates per day, but uh, make sure that the last 24 hours, uh, there's an update to make sure that you are actually getting updates of security in the Windows security app. So that's pretty much how you know if it's working well or not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.